Okay, guys, so the brand new Roblox PK chapter is officially out. And in this chapter, it takes us back to the refinery, to the moment where Zizzy got infected. She got scratched on her arm. And now we finally get to see what happened to Zizzy after that chapter. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything from the story to the end cutscene to the beginning cutscene to the notes to the skins to the bots, pretty much everything in this chapter. I'm also going to be giving out a few Roblox codes to celebrate the release of a brand new chapter. So make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment down below with your Roblox Roblox name in order to win one and I'll pick a winner in tomorrow's video. Let's go ahead and kick things off with the story though because this is where the meat of the new chapter is. So of course like I mentioned before it picks up right where we left off. Pony and you the player have left the refinery and it's up to Zizzy to cause a distraction so that you guys can escape. Of course she's infected and she doesn't have long until she turns. Now because Zizzy is becoming infected she's slowly losing control of her mind. As we play through the chapter we see a lot of things that are just kind of crazy. Things that are just sort of distorted, just like in the distorted memory chapter. For example, Zizzy is being chased around the map by infected versions of her sisters. In fact, they're actually the brand new skin that you can buy and purchase and use inside a piggy. I'll put up some footage of that later on. And the goal of the map is to play as Zizzy, go around, find three dynamites and put them in, well, actually, I don't know what this is, whatever this is, the, re the refinery or old section. Basically, you're going to blow up the refinery and this is where you put the dynamite. You're trying traveling all over the refinery in order to find keys, the screwdriver, pretty much everything. Even this giant hole right here in the middle of the map. No idea what this is. And you even have to run into these guys here. These guys are actually called Sentinels. I'll have an entire video on them in a few days, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Long story short, Zizzy goes around the refinery. She gets the dynamite. She goes to blow it up. She goes to escape. And as she goes to escape the refinery, Dude Man shows up. And honestly, this cutscene is probably the craziest cutscene we've had in the game for a very long time. I'm going to try to break this down as much as possible because honestly, this is all very confusing, but let's get started. Basically, Dude Man, right off the bat, asks Zizzy to join him because Zizzy is a strong, powerful warrior. We already know that. And Dude Man wants her help. Zizzy says no. And then Dude Man reveals the big shocking truth that he actually used to be a normal person just like everyone else. He used to be alive in the world just like Zizzy, just like Pony, just like the player, everyone. He reveals that he was really alone. He didn't really have many friends. He never really spoke to anyone. And uh, Eventually, over time, he made friends with this creature from beyond the void. In the game, I actually believe it says the one from beyond. Basically, this void creature. This other dimensional monster. Who knows? And they were friends for quite a while. But then, this creature from beyond started realizing that Dude Man started to become a lot like him. He started to gain the powers and controls that this other creature had. Well, this other creature wasn't very happy about that. This void monster, whoever it was, he didn't like that at all. And so he left and he started the entire infection. He basically tried to destroy the entire world. Basically, all you need to know is Dude Man used to be a normal dude. He befriended this weird creature from another dimension. And then over time, Dude Man became a lot like this creature from another dimension. The creature from another dimension didn't like that he was becoming like him. And so this creature from the other dimension started the whole infection to destroy the world. And now here we are, Dude Man and Zizzy. He also reveals that Zizzy's sister, Z, who never actually speaks a whole word in the series is a lot like Dude Man was back when he was a normal child. Back when he became friends with this creature from the void. And he says that Zizzy's sister may end up becoming just like him, which is pretty big. And then the scene shifts a little bit. Zizzy and Pony somehow link up within their thoughts. Again, this is all pretty confusing, but somehow they're talking to each other in their thoughts. And Pony reveals to Zizzy that he does in fact like her, that he cares for her a lot. And while it's official, the ship is official. It is canon. It is a thing. They are a thing. It, it, it finally happened. Then their reunion gets cut a little bit short because Dude Man shows back up. Zizzy goes to accept his offer so that she can see Pony again. Again, Dude Man is kind of tricking her. And as she goes to accept the offer, a weird hand comes out of nowhere and pulls her through a portal. Now, if you're still a little bit confused by the ending, trust me, I know it is extremely confusing. There is so much that goes on. Number one, Dude Man used to be a normal person. Okay, that's cool. Number two, he befriended this creature from the void. 
this insolence guy. Wait, does this mean that that dude man isn't actually the guy behind the infection? That he's not actually the, the big bad guy? That he's not in charge? Yes, that is exactly what it means. Three, Zizzy and, and, and Pony, they're officially a thing now. And four, who is this weird creature that pulls Zizzy through a portal? Is that the, the void creature that, that is friends with dude man? Is it possibly Mr. Stitchy? Because look at this arm. This arm looks a lot like Mr. Stitchy. If you have a lot of questions, so do I. In fact, I'm going to make a whole video trying to answer all of these. But as for this video, I just want to stick to the facts. I don't want to throw my theories in too much because, well, I, again, it's pretty confusing. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the video where I explain all of this. Anyway, as for the story, that's all we have. We do have a few notes that back all of this up, though. Note number one is written on a wall. It just says, do you miss them? Of course, this is Dude Man asking Zizzy if she misses her sisters, just playing with her emotions. We have another note here written on a wall by Dude Man that says they're always with you even when they're not. I don't know if this is talking about her sisters or if they're talking about the whispers that the insolence gives, you know, in your head, like the whispers are always there. Who exactly knows? And then we have the big note here. She will be next. Uh, I, again, I mentioned Z and how she doesn't talk and how Dude Man says that he, you know, she's a lot like him and that she may actually turn into an insolence or be controlled by the insolence just like Dude Man was. That's what this note here is referring to. But that's all the notes. There's just those three there. As for the skin, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we do have the sister's uh, skin, piggy skin. I'll go ahead and show it off real quick. Here it is. That is basically it for this chapter. Again, I'm going to have an entire video breaking down Dude Man and, and all that. I just want to include it in its own separate video because honestly, it deserves it. Basically, I was doing some digging around the Piggy storyline and I found out who exactly Dude Man is, like his, his name, all of that. I, I think I know. Like I'm talking his real name, his actual real name. I also think I know who this weird void creature is here that pulls Zizzy through the portal. Again, I'm going to have an entire separate video talking about just that so make sure you're subscribed keep using star code real creek and i'm going to try to get that video out today for you guys it may already be out by the time you watch this video so go check my channel thank you guys so much for watching though and i'll see you guys in the next video bye